rate wow. of about 10 per year. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm Jan with Collins. And we're going to be checking out amazing videos. Sit tight and let's dive right into this. The tomb of the unknown soldier is guarded round the clock by some of the most elite soldiers in the world. But the lives of this exclusive band of guards have spent centuries shrouded in mystery. Everything from their lifestyles, rules and regulations, all the way to what they are allowed to do to tourists that get too close. To take a peek behind America's most fearsome soldiers and see why they should never be messed with, let's get started. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is one of the most guarded places on Earth, with civilians wow. first patrolling the site from 1925 to prevent families from having picnics near the tomb. While the military would take Ooh, over from 1926, it wasn't until 1937 that a continuous rotating guard schedule was implemented. Since then, the tomb has been continuously guarded 24 hours a day, 7 days wow. a week. The patrol has even, never even once stopped, it's, it's, it's not it's even through the September 11 attacks. <laughs> Hurricane Isabel and an earthquake in 1944 that measured 5.9 on the Richter scale. So, where do these unknown soldiers come from? Well, yeah. unfortunately, in the theater of war, it isn't always practical or even possible to collect all the fallen bodies of your squad, especially in the heat of the battle. For this reason, it can sometimes be weeks, months, or even years until the remains are discovered. Back then, we didn't have the luxury of DNA profiling or reliable ways to match the list of missing soldiers with the discovered corpses. So for many soldiers, they were buried in graves simply marked unknown. Can they shoot? When the Sentinels first took up their post, they were armed with a famous Springfield M1903 bolt-action rifle from World War I. These were soon replaced by the M1 Garand and eventually the M14 rifle. A ceremonial stock remains affixed to the gun, however, most on-duty Sentinels do not have the 20-round magazine attached. So, with the magazine missing, are these rifles just for show? It's rumored that each rifle has one round chambered just in case. But if worse comes to worse, the tomb sergeant has a fully loaded pistol ready to deploy. Oh, and in case you're wondering, they are fully authorized to shoot anyone who disrespects the sanctity of the unknown soldier's tomb. So, wow. even if you were kind of sure the rifles weren't loaded, you want to take your chances. That's all. Tomb guard salary. The burning question on everyone's minds, how much do these elite soldiers get paid? Soldiers in the old guard are paid the same as any other service okay, member of the same rank and time and grade, and are also entitled to compensation for extraordinary expenses and additional dress uniforms. The thing is, the Sentinels do not display rank insignia. This is done so as not to outrank the buried unknown soldier, whatever wow. their rank may have been. However, sources point to an average salary of about 43000 $800 per year for this elite role. But don't hold That's your fair. breath, these soldiers are all there because they consider it a sacred honor to have the opportunity to yeah, guard the unknowns. Disrespecting a tomb guard. Visitors to the Who Tomb does? of the Unknown Soldier are warned to exercise the utmost respect during particular ceremonies. They are required to stay behind the fenced-off viewing area and to remain standing and silent for the duration. If anyone tries to approach the tomb or is too loud and disruptive, the sentinel will interrupt the ceremony and give a single verbal warning while moving his rifle to the ready position. It is requested that everyone maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all times. If Ooh. that person continues to breach the tomb or be disruptive, the tomb guard is authorized and expected to use lethal force. Get behind the rail! This can be anything from laughing or talking loudly during parts that demand silence, crossing the chain boundary near the tomb, or acting inappropriately. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a place where tourists, Karens, and inconsiderates are taught a thing or two about respect. It is requested that all visitors remain behind the chains and rails at all times. Behind the chains and rails. Where do yeah, Sentinels live? Loud? 
of. Exactly. Guards of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier have a few accommodation choices available after their shift. While most of the Sentinels live in adjacent barracks at Fort Myers, for those that have 24-hour shifts, they can retreat to a secret hidden quarters buried under the steps of the tomb's amphitheater. When they're not sleeping or on active duty, Sentinels use the space for study and training. Their day begins at 5 a.m. with arrival at the tomb quarters 1 for duty. The tomb guards will inspect the quarters, prepare their uniforms, review orders, and receive their duty assignments for the coming day. At 6.30 a.m., the tomb guards inspect the trainee's readiness and uniforms. If a trainee meets relevant standards, the tomb guards may allow them to walk the first morning guard change known as a bolo at 7 a.m. The evening bolo will be the final change and walk of the day. Between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., when the public is allowed access to the memorial, tomb guards will perform several ceremonies including walking the mat, changing of the guard, and various wreath-laying ceremonies. Why Tomb Guards Are So Elite the Old yeah, Guard is essentially so ceremonial special forces, and despite their seemingly repetitive and easy job, they represent the very best of the best the Army can offer. It's so elite that less than 20% of all volunteers are accepted for training, and of those, only a fraction pass training to become fully-fledged Tomb Guards. Special number 21. You see the number 21 repeated a lot in the military, and for the tomb guards, this is especially true. During the walking of the mat, sentinels take 21 steps before turning to face the tomb for 21 seconds. After changing the shoulder of their weapon and turning to face down the mat, the guard pauses for another 21 seconds before again marching for 21 steps. The sentinel then repeats this over and over until the guard change ceremony begins. 21 is seen as the highest honor awarded to military personnel, the 21-gun salute is used to respect high-ranking military officers, presidents, and members of a royal family. Furthermore, the first ever unknown soldier was buried on the 11th of November, 1921. The unknown American soldier's remains were exhumed from a cemetery in France and repatriated to the U.S. where it was laid to rest below a three-level marble tomb. Tomb Guard Training Secrets to become a tomb guard or sentinel, a soldier must be highly motivated, disciplined, and possess a strong military bearing and soldierly appearance. An application must be made through the sergeant of the old guard, and if successful, the soldier is assigned to the tomb for an initial two-week training period. The training cycle is intense, consisting of a series of five grueling tests over six to twelve months. These tests focus on ceremonial performance, uniform preparation, and knowledge. At the end of the training cycle, trainees are expected to be able to flawlessly conduct seven different types of ceremonies, meet the highest standards of uniform preparation, and recite 35 whole pages of information without error. If a trainee fails any test at any point, they are assigned back to their company. If a trainee wow. is among the tiny so number sweet. of successful sweet. applicants each year, they are awarded the Tomb Guard Identification Badge, and will from then on be referred to as a Tomb Guard or Badge Holder older by their fellow sentinels. Just to illustrate how prestigious this title is, only around 700 Tomb Guard Identification Badges or TGIBs have been issued since the 1950s at a rate of about 10 per year. What's your opinion on the Tomb Guards? This, this is so surprising, like shocked. Like I'm, since 1950. I'm blown off. I actually wow. admire the, the, the way um, Americans, or should I say Westerners, the way they respect their military personnel. Like, it's something I've seen in many videos, I've not witnessed it, but I've seen the respect, the attention, the care they give to their military personnel is on 100. Like, how? It's crazy. Like, if you even notice the number of people that they have recruited to be a tomb guard for the past since the year 1950. So you see that it's just the number is small to tell you that they're, they're only joking. taking people that are that that are willing to train and to be professionals. And the effort they are putting, they are putting so much effort for unknown people. The unknown like, people that they could not even tell with even when they as at then they could not use DNA to know who the person that died is. This is but the height yet of they invest invest people to guard the tomb of the unknown. Wow. I wow. Can't, this is wow. the height of appreciation. Wow. Guys, this is so good. 
This is so good. Wow. Thank you guys for sitting up to this time and until next time. Bye-bye.